My daughter and I are having a spa day today, so I'm going ahead to prepare the ingredients we need for our facials and hair masks. First, I'm making our facial scrub. I'm mixing equal amounts of honey and brown sugar, so about two tablespoons each of honey and brown sugar. Brown sugar is less abrasive on the skin and is good for sensitive skin. So this is what the scrub looks like and now I'm going to add some baobab oil, which is very beneficial for your skin. Putting in about 10 to 15 drops of baobab oil and then I'm going to stir very well. That's our facial scrub done. I'm moving on to make our face mask now. I'm making a cocoa face mask using this raw cocoa powder by Skin Gourmet. I'll be using a tablespoon of the cocoa powder as our base and then I'll go ahead to add some rose water to soften and make it into a paste. So here's our rose water. I'm using about two tablespoons so I go in first with a tablespoon of rose water and then again with a second tablespoon of rose water to soften it down. I'm going to add some baobab oil so I'm putting in about 10 drops of baobab oil, pure baobab oil. Then I'll also be adding some lavender essential oil, which is a great oil for skin, antibacterial, antifungal, and very relaxing. I love the smell of lavender essential oil. So that's our face mask done. Finally, I'm mixing up our hair mask recipe using honey and Greek yogurt. So two tablespoons of honey and two tablespoons of Greek yogurt makes up what I call the single serving amount. So this would be um, what you would use for somebody with short to medium hair, but you can double or triple the amount for whatever amount that you need. So I'm adding some sheer oil to the hair mask and also some baobab oil. So I've added about 15 drops of each oil to the hair mask and also adding some rosemary essential oil. Add about 15 drops of rosemary and about 15 drops of lavender essential oil. So that's the basic recipe for the hair mask. Stir it very well and apply it to hair. Even if your hair is dry, this hair mask will instantly soften your hair. Just wet your fingertips a little bit. 
I guess you could just call it this. I don't think you will spell exfoliation from just We will after this. So let it be. I don't think I have the evenly spread, you know, on your face, then you can use that one. So we scrubbed with our fingers, but you can add some extra exfoliation with this Lufa facial exfoliation sponge. If you want to find out how to get one, just DM me or message the number that I'm going to provide in the comments. So we've used up all the hair mask. As you saw earlier, I mixed up some more of the hair masks to be enough for both of us. And now I've put it through my hair. My hair feels very soft. I'll be washing out my daughter's hair mask later today because she needs to have it washed and styled and ready for school tomorrow. But I am keeping my hair mask in until tomorrow. So later on when I'm going to bed, I'll just cover my hair, you know, tie it with a scarf and then keep it till tomorrow. So I'll let you know how my hair looks after I've washed my hair. We've just washed the scrub of our faces. Now it's time for the cocoa face mask that you saw me prepare earlier. So that's with cocoa powder, some rose water, and some baobab oil. So there we go, putting on the face mask. I'm going to wait for it to dry before we finally wash that off. has really made a difference it has softened her hair so much more than usual and made it really manageable i'm so happy with the results tomorrow i'll let you know how it went with my hair until then keep on glowing